It was just before 2 a.m. on a cloudless Florida night. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The most powerful rocket in NASA history came screaming to life, rattling buildings and windows, headed for a 26-day uncrewed orbit around the moon and charting a path to one day go long and deep. The moon is just a few days away. Mars is months and months away. On board, test dummies that will register the G-forces and radiation exposure, with astronauts set to board the next flight around the moon in 2024, then landing in 25 with a crew that includes a woman and person of color. And this is what the future looks like. Astronauts working on a new lunar space station called Gateway. Already, the Gateway sections are coming together in Houston. It's going to let us fly crews from Earth to Gateway. From there, they will go on to the lunar surface. Just this week, a new NASA satellite named Capstone arrived at the moon, scouting the best future orbit for Gateway. This is Capstone, the actual size. It weighs about 50 pounds. It has these deployable solar panels. The critical piece of technology is the antenna on top, communicating directly with an orbiting lunar NASA satellite. You can think of it like a GPS system for the moon. Underscoring why Artemis, with its big orbital loop around the moon, is so critical before splashdown next month off San Diego. Next year, NASA plans to name the astronauts for America's first return to the moon in 50 years, as Artemis picks up where Apollo left off. Tom Costello, NBC News at the Kennedy Space Center. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.